Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna warn you ahead of time. This video is gonna be maybe a little bit cynical. So this is Samp RP. Watch out, Grand Theft Auto. All right, let's just get right into this. So brace yourselves, because I'm pretty sure your mind is about to be motherfucking blown. Do you ever want to play San Andreas, except with this dead-eyed goth dude? So I hit start game, and it just drops you right into the world. And as you can see, this is a bustling society full of amazing features. I like how there's a built-in frames per second counter up there. Hey, I'm talking here. Hey. Hey, hey, nice hair. All right, let me in the, let me in the vehicle. Let me in the vehicle. Can I have this? So I found Crouch. That's good. I can do some kegels. See if I can steal this astronaut sprinter van. No, 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 no. I want to come back, 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 come back. Give me that shit. Why? Are you okay? Oh, all right. Well, let's try all the normal Grand Theft Auto. Whoa. You know, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh, she didn't like that very much, but she's still- I gotta try this fucking motorcycle. Come here. Deadbeat dad needs your motorcycle. Gimme. Hey. Hey. Gimme it. Where's my prompt? Where's F? F to take. Gimme that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I like how once you're knocked off the motorcycle, <laughs> you're just dead. Well, here's the map. As you can see, this city is, uh, full of surprises. Oh my god, I literally can't figure out how to get out of the map. Turns out if you push R, the whole game resets. That's the level of confidence you can come to expect from Samp RP. Ah, time to buy some- God damn it. $250,000. Look, if I wanted reality, I wouldn't have played Samp RP, all right? I would have just gone around and looked at real buildings I can't afford. What's what's this? What's this? Property number two. Property name Delento. 55 grand. Now we're talking, except for the part where we only have $250. How does one make money around here? And why, when you run, does it give this, like, creepy shaky cam just so I can barf? Just so we can all barf? <laughs> Fuck your grass. Cool. Business suite. It's a million dollars. I'm not going to be seeing that kind of money in this game. Or ever. All right, let's break down some of the hot features of this game. We got sprinter vans, these people who are clearly all clones. We've got this deadbeat dad that went out for some smokes and never came back. Well, this doesn't feel like a conspiracy at all, the fact that the school buses are also being driven by one of the clones, except she's wearing some hot sunglasses. Dude, look at those sick driving goggles. Hey, where are you going? And let's go find a way to make some money. So far, the only way to kill people is by pulling them out of their car. If they do that, they just die of a broken heart. So we can drive around the city center here, because that's all there is. Let's see what else we got going on here. Time to get out of this fucking town. Someone didn't seal the fence all the way. Oh! Oh, hey, the ocean. Oh, shit. That's okay, guys. <laughs> we could just drive right on out of that. Can I just point out the fucking hot frame rate I'm getting on this? So say what you will, but the car handling is actually not terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, good lord. Well, this is where you dispose of the bodies, no question. This vehicle sucks. We could be in a cop car right now. Play it cool. Play it cool. Bye! Oh, you know what's a really nice touch is that barbed wire underlining police. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. Oh shit, I got cameras? 729 coming at ya. Hands on the wheel, dude. If there's a horn, I definitely can't find it. What do we have in the way of options anyway? Great, perfect. Big fucking surprise there. I think we've seen all this game has to offer. So we've got this whole city here. We have a clock in the upper right corner that does nothing. We have money that does nothing. We have no way to gain money that I can see. UI, that's supposed to look like a mishmash of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 5, and probably a little something in between. We have one one type of model wandering around outside of Deadbeat Dad. Buildings you can't go into. Now, I know it sounds like I'm just shitting all over this game, right? But you put out a game with, with nothing. With nothing. And I'm hesitant to believe that this is gonna turn into something. Hold the fuck on. Let's go look at the Steam page real quick. Welcome to the world of the Samp RP. Grand Theft Auto style of game with hints of role-playing. Role-playing? Fucking role-playing? Tell me about this role-playing. Features. Variety of vehicles. Open world. World AI. Realistic physics. Freedom of choice. Photon multiplayer will be available during the first second week of January. The first second week of January. Isn't that just the second week? God. Just God. So this is the publisher here. Let's take a quick look at their beautiful gaming history here. We've got a couple of family classics here, including Pick Guesser. Call it a hunch. Pretty sure this is a port of a mobile game. The answer is Goose. The answer is clearly Goose. Village Story. Thumbs down. Always a good sign. The main objective of the game is to build your town, which the player must not only build and develop, but also to protect. What is going on off on the left while I'm trying to read this shit? Mostly negative. The game doesn't work and the cards are worthless. There's a game-breaking bug. Needs a lot of work on basic optimization. Ah, finally a thumbs up one. 
good for trading cards. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Gamay play is shit. There's always a chance that this could get better with shoot paint. Mostly negative. Looking great. Drag the mouse to set the direction and force push the ball like a Jedi. Rip off. Another game that I still can't believe hasn't been removed from Steam. The gameplay is pretty dank and not responsive. Is dank a good thing? Can't it be a good thing? 10 out of 10 lost my virginity to this game. Can't argue with those results. Gump Runner. Ah, oh, not enough reviews to be negative, I see. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. 5 out of 10. 33.6 hours on record. And finally, that brings us to the quintessential classic that is Samp RP. Something tells me it is not going to be able to escape the wrath of the last games published by Lestio, in that we may be seeing the full version right now. Just for the benefit of a doubt, let's look at some of these potential updates. Game's next update will include clothing shop, character customization, properties to buy, improved world. And then right over here, we have the next update. Player's HUD and properties for purchasing. Alpha, because you don't have enough fucking money to buy this stuff. To their credit, I guess they actually did add a little something. Is it enough? I am hesitant to believe that this game is going to expand. I'm getting somewhat cynical to the idea that maybe Samp RP may not be developed all the way. Here's the thing. Every time I see a game like this on Steam, there's a little piece of me that wants everything to do well. Despite the fact that there's double yellows and then this bigger yellow and just nothing makes a lot of sense here. Why the fuck would you have two lanes that both go both directions? And this person doesn't even believe in either of that. They're just, <laughs> they're just riding on the yellow. But whenever I see games like this on Steam, there is a tiny part of me. Like, I believe in the idea that we can, that any person has the chance now to make a game, that Steam has opened that up so that we can all try. But I have some concerns that this is not necessarily the perfect path to doing so. Certainly for this publisher, they do not have a stunning track record that lends a lot of confidence to what this game could be. And you might be asking yourself, why am I even giving this a chance? Why am I, why, why? Oh my God, oh my God. Is that the fucking Unity logo on this person's fucking jumpsuit? All right, so that Unity model aside, someone took the time to make this world in some capacity. And I think it's great that someone made something. That does not mean the game needs to be put on Steam and it doesn't need to be put up for money. Hey, hey, all right, motherfucker, we're gonna, we're gonna continue this tirade from within the vehicle. So as soon as I can figure out how to pull you out of this, there's no way it's from this side, is there? Of course it is. Bye. I'm gonna go ahead and say that if this game seems intriguing to you, you might wanna consider waiting. You have seen in this video everything you can do. Could this game update? Flesh it out? Sure. It's always a chance, but I'll believe it when I see it. And thus, welcome to the world of Samp RP. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, I am Josh. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for listening to my rant, and I will see you next time. <laughs>